want to welcome everyone this afternoon to the home going or celebration of life of our friend, Brother Randy Shumpert. Uh, I just told them it's going to be emotional uh, for me. It'll be emotional for a lot of people. But that shows our care and our love for one another and our love for Brother Randy. <coughs> Psalm 23, we could quote it, The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still water. Yes. Amen. And that's what I'm praying today, that God would give us still water. That still water don't mean you just lay down. And uh, for the Christian, that means an element of peace. I've seen people run during still water. Yeah. Amen. Uh, because we know where Brother Randy's at. And uh, from the family, they would like to say thank you for all of your support last night and through the course of uh, what they've been going through, the calls, the texts, uh, the food that's been brought. Uh, their appreciation uh, goes out to you. And uh, we want to recognize, I've done this a long time, uh, you don't get gray in your beard by being young. I'm not old, but I'm not young either. I've done this a while, and I've never seen a nursing staff <coughs> come to a funeral. Uh, I believe it's Baptist Hospital in uh, Columbia, South Carolina. I pastored 10 years in South Carolina, and uh, I don't think I've ever seen, maybe to the viewing or something like that, one or two here or there. I, I want this group of nurses that cared for Brother Randy to stand, if yes. you don't mind. <laughs> I, I, put them on there. I want you to give them a hand clap. <laughs> this family has talked about you guys all morning and la even last night. Uh, and so, I'm in Louisiana, but if I can get to South Carolina, I'm going to go to Baptist. <laughs> but uh, it's good to have you. I hate us under these circumstances. But we understand that life happens. Yes, it does. And we go on. Yes. And with the grace of God, He gives us the strength to carry on. And so that's what we're going to pray. I want us as a body of believers to pray. And we're going to... We're going to we're going to get into this home celebration of my dear friend, Brother Randy Shumper. And I'll tell more about him and our experiences maybe later on here. But uh, let us pray and ask the Lord to just strengthen each and every one. Father, we love you. We're so thankful for your grace. We thank you for your strength, Lord. When I'm weak, then I'm strong. It's, I know, Lord, that... Uh, when I feel your presence, you're taking over, God, in my times of sorrow and anxiety and weakness. I ask God that you would uh, bless this day as we celebrate the going home of our, our dear friend, Brother Randy. Lord, I ask that you would send your peace and your comfort to uh, Sister Jan and God to these boys and daughter-in-laws, grandchildren. Lord, let them feel Lord, the presence of the Holy Ghost as you undergird them, Lord, as only you can do. God bless this uh, each one in this congregation, oh, the funeral home directors. God, just minister and bless their life. Anoint us as we sing, as we oh, worship, God. as we give praise, as we give testimony. Give us courage to face this day. We need courage, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we ask oh, these things God. and we give this service to you. Amen and amen. amen. hard to let go of the hand you've been holding, the same one that picked you right up every time you fell down. 
Remember, he said, son, I know where I'm going. And because of his faith, there's comfort in knowing that through all the heartaches and tears, you're crying right now. Heaven just got sweeter for you. The one you love, love Jesus too. No more suffering or pain. Now he's in that place where all things are new. Even though you're hurting like this, he knows you know.
want to thank each and every one of you for coming out today. Uh, Y'all got to see part of today's lives. Get little snippets, some more than others, some less than others. I hadn't met somebody yet to come up and told me that he wasn't the same every time they met him. And I've known people that say, well, this person's a good man, and then their children say, well, he wasn't quite as good as everybody says he was. But I promise that Daddy was a good man inside the home as well as in the community. I was there every day. I was I made him mad. But it, it was times where I'd done something wrong and I deserved a spanking. And Daddy would sit down and talk with me instead of uh, give me a spanking. He would sit there and there was times, Brother Sweeney, where he, I deserved a spanking and he would come up and just touch me. And I would still weep and cry just like I got a real spanking. Just because of the grace he showed. I, I love Daddy, but I don't want to bring him back. He, uh, I'm playing a song, the Old Rugged Cross. This was his favorite song for me to play. I'm not too good at saxophone, but he loved this song. Y'all would just help us. I'm going to tell you, like he used to say to all of us, pray for us because you need to practice and we need your prayers. <laughs> and I'll pray for you because I need to practice and you need to pray. <laughs> <coughs> 